Greetings, Salutations YouTube. Welcome to day 26 of Vlogmas. I am here with Mother. And she's baking more of these cakes. <laughs> and I'm heating up some spaghetti. Well, it's baked ziti. So I'm super excited to eat it. Yeah, it's leftovers from yesterday. I didn't eat too much of it, but it was so good. And now we're going to eat some today. For breakfast. <laughs> Look at these beautiful meringues. Look at how shiny they are. All right, you guys, we all just had breakfast, and now I'm inside the car. I'm ready to head out to go thrifting, so I'm super excited to take you guys with me. This might be one of the last thrifting trips of the year because the new year is just right around the corner. Um, next week is going to be... 2018 so I am really excited for the new year but I want to end this year strong see what we can find out in the thrift store so I'm taking you guys with me and we're gonna go check out what we can find all right you guys we just got to the Goodwill so I'm super duper excited but don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna go to a couple other stores today too but I'm not gonna post them in this vlog we have them in separate videos so Let's go inside the store. Hopefully we can find some really good stuff. And also don't forget to check out my shop, it's Adrian.com. I have a ton of stuff for sale right now. I'm trying to have like a closet clear out for the end of the year so I can make new space for items next year. And don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Adrian, just like it's spelled here. Um, let's go inside. All right, you guys, I thought this was a Prada bag I got first from far away, but it's Guess. This is... It's like a big brightener or something. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Rampage. Jacqueline Smith. Is this another fake brighten bag? If this is like a huge brighten bag, that'd be pretty cool. No, it's Cold Water Creek. Oh, it looks like a fake Gucci. Yeah, it is a fake Gucci. <laughs> this, the logo kind of looks like a cross between like a Gucci and a Chanel. This fringe is like really fun. But it's pleather, bolo, Barbara. Never seen that one before. A oh, cute little bow bag. New bowler. This is a Banana Republic. This one's $14.99. Nye. Tia Nia. This is almost like a... I don't even know what that is. No logo. We have an abundance of these love bags. They're a poor tech. I think these are from Target. Liz Claiborne. Trying to figure out what this is. Feels pretty soft. Oh, Wilson leather, yeah. Wilson leathers are pretty nice. What's this guy here? Turn lock is not turning. Oh, it's a button. <laughs> Nine West. This looks like a Michael Kors or something. Some. Oh, it is a Michael Kors. Okay, still has a crossbody strap. Not too bad. Just needs a little bit of TLC. $14.99. It's not too shabby for that. Do you guys see I have a cart? <laughs> I started off with a cart. David Jones. This bag is kind of cute, but there's like holes in it, so we're not going to deal with that. That's kind of cute, but it's fabric. This Calvin Klein looks very similar to a um, Kate Spade bag. Pleather. Skechers. More pleather. 
Oh, the yellow section. I love how they color code. Makes me happy sometimes to see like all the yellow bags together. <laughs> it's still yellow. Weird. Oh, look at this. Is this Tiania? No, Gianni Bernini. Oh, a Disney bag, how cute. Okay. Think that might be it for the handbags. Let's see what they have here in the front. Is it Dooney? No. Jones, New York. Here's a coach. 24. BB. Donna Buffin. Check out the faux botanicals. I feel like this store always gives us a lot of fabulous faux botanicals. Party Barn, $24. Here, $3.99. Love it. Love Pottery Barn faux botanicals. They're literally the best. Let's see if there's any other Pottery Barn botanicals that no one swooped up yet. Ooh, that's like a nice container. This little blue and white vase is pretty. It's originally $15.99 from Hobby Lobby. Here it's $5.99. Found a bunch of these white potted amaryllis from Pottery Barn, originally $14, down to $1.99. So I managed to nab four of them. These are perfect, and I think Christmas stuff is half off right now, so these should be a dollar, hopefully. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I was looking at this from far away, but it's $9.99, a little expensive, originally $20 from Target. I feel like this ad doll has extra dimension to this haunted doll section. They also now have a haunted bear. She looks very mad. And that one looks very scary. Oh my gosh, you guys, the tchotchkes are cleared out. Look at that, there's like barely anything, especially like right here. <gasps> Where did it all go? My tchotchkes. Those are like my favorite things. All right, you guys, these are gorgeous. They're from Target. Glass up here, wood down here, 35 originally. Here it's 10. The wood is damaged right here, but I don't know, I feel like I could still fix it. What do you guys think? The color is half off. I feel like at this price point, I can just turn it around and just ignore the back. It's only gonna be $5. Oh, it's another one of these trees. How much is it? Ooh, $6.99, so it'll be half off. It wouldn't be too much to buy one of these. You guys, look at this, like, I don't know what this is, mirrored metal thing, $5.99. It's pretty gorgeous. I think I'm gonna get it. Like, this would be amazing on, like, a console table or something, styled with something gorgeous. And I feel like a very reflective for spring and summer. So, I think it would be really, 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 really cute. That's cute, too. There are a couple of people down the other aisles, like the plates and stuff, so I decided to skip over here first to like the bakeware, cookware, and see what little treasures they have. This looks like a Rachel Ray for $9.99. Little pricey. But I like that color from Rachel Ray. Alright. Always looking for interesting white serveware. Premium collection for homage. Ooh, that's cheese. In French. Linens and things. Always looking for like awesome trays and stuff. I remember there was like, I, they used to have a huge tray like this at Pottery Barn. Don't know if that's the one. Because I've seen a lot of them that look very similar. I kind of like that fish plate. How cute is this? JCPenney Home Collection, $5.99. I think blue is half off. 
but I don't know. This is really pretty though. It looks like it's hand painted. I'm gonna set that aside. This is cool too. Temptations ovenware. Oven, dishwasher, microwave safe. That's pretty cool, but it's chipped. So we're not gonna give it a second look. We don't want anything that's broken. $5.99. This is pretty, you guys. That would be great for like a summer party. I'm already thinking about summer parties. I don't know why. It's like barely gonna be New Year's and I'm like in summer mode. Already. How cute is that? Oh, look at this turkey plate. <gasps> you guys, how festive is this? Where is it from? Doesn't say. It just says that it's made in Italy. Now this is what I was trying to get to. This giant serving plate thing. $12.99. I think that's going to be half off. And it's from... Anti... What is it? Antica Famous. It's gorgeous. Looks damaged though. Paula Deen, $2.99. I'm always on the hunt at the very bottom just to see if they have anything exciting. Sometimes um, I feel like the bottom of the shelves are overlooked. And also sometimes people hide some pretty good stuff at the bottom. So always check down there just to make sure. Ooh, this is like a piece. It's either at the very top or the very bottom. This is actually really pretty. Too bad it's chipped. Oh, this is so cute. Santa Monica Dairy Company. Uh, I'm pretty obsessed with this. I actually have one of these. But I love these little guys. They're like the best. The dollar ninety-nine. Oh, Christmas. Shut the front door. That has to be. Let's move some of this stuff. Ooh, this is actually really festive also. There. Ladle. Uh, for plants. Oh, God, I thought I broke it. Almost had a heart attack. This looks like it's Pampered Chef. And it is sold. These things are really, really nice. I'm also looking at this really cute, like, um, it looks like a candy dispenser thing. I know it doesn't actually work, but pretty cute. <gasps> what is this? This is gorgeous. And do I see another Pampered Chef piece right here? I think I do. Pampered Chef collection, $4.99. I already have a ton of those though. So I do like this salad bulb. Oh, but it's shit. But I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna think, not gonna think about it anymore because it's definitely chip. I'm not gonna get it. Okay you guys, I just found one of my like favorite things, crate and barrel dinner plates. These are all $1.99 each. And they're porcelain, I think. No, I'm not sure. They feel and look kinda like porcelain. I wonder how many there are. Okay, you guys, I counted seven. There's seven of them that are all matching. I'm deciding on whether or not I should get them. If there was eight, I would totally get them all. Oh, decisions, decisions. These are also really cute for Pier 1 imports. Pull these up from the top of the shelf. Williams Sonoma Outlet. These are beautiful. I wish that they were plates, though. Or if they had matching plates. Like, they, I would totally get them. But now I'm looking for the matching plates, hoping that they're here somewhere. What do you guys think? Do you think they're gonna be here somewhere? These are interesting. You guys probably think those are so ugly. I think they're kind of cool looking. Pottery barn? No. They look just like the Sausalito plates. These are actually really nice. They're very heavy. They're bottom heavy. The glass feels pretty good. 
<laughs> okay, I'm not seeing any of those William Sonoma things. These are actually really pretty. And by the way, I think this is pretty cool. Like it would be a really cool planter or something. What do you guys think? This is actually pretty cool too. This is like a stone canister. $12.99 originally from Target. $5.99 here. These are really pretty. It has like Capiche shell and the Mother of Pearl inlay on the sides. White towel. Silversmiths. There's like two pieces. So cool. Still thinking about this guy though. This one's awesome. Another glass pumpkin. Man, they're always out in full force when I don't actually <laughs> need them, but it's okay, I already have two. This glass thing is actually pretty cool looking. Are you kidding me? Another glass pumpkin right there? There's like two in this store alone at this very moment. All right, you guys, I just left the store. I had to make two trips, so this is my second trip back to the car. Don't forget to subscribe, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the haul video um, in today's video, so check in for tomorrow's vlog to check out what I found. Uh, right now, I'm gonna, hit, uh, I'm gonna hit up some more stores, and I'll see you guys. I just got home, and I got a ton of stuff, so I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. So don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated when I do post the haul videos. Um, right now, we're gonna get everything inside. Ooh, mom made her delicious cake, but also look at my new leaf. It decided to open up and it looks beautiful. I can't wait for it to open up fully because it looks spectacular. All right, you guys, so I'm back inside my room and dinner was amazing. The cake was so delicious. I love that cake so much. It's a um, pavlova, pavlova? Pavlova cake that mom always makes. It's pretty much just like whisked egg, egg whites a little sugar, cream of tartar, and she just put some um, like whipped topping on top and then fresh fruit, and it's so delicious. It's really light, and if you use like light, um, like the light topping stuff, um, or sugar-free, it's like pretty, like, as far as desserts go, it's not the worst. Plus the fruit's delicious and it's fresh and it's yummy. And yeah, so now I'm back in my room. I'm like looking at my bag. <laughs> I'm like, I love this bag so much. Have I talked to you guys about this YSL bag? Um, I know I did, I filmed a handbag rehab on it and it just like looks so beautiful but I, for some reason I can't find the footage that I shot. I know I saved it somewhere, I have to look for it because I really want to put that up because this bag came out beautiful after um, I finished it up and I am like in love with it, it's one of my favorite bags. Speaking of favorite bags, I'm going to actually do um, a, a lot of you guys have actually been asking for an updated handbag um, collection video so I definitely want to do that for you guys because I have a lot of new handbags. I actually sold a lot of the old ones that I had from last year. So now I have a lot of new ones. I can hear Liza outside. <laughs> I'm like counting how like how long it's gonna take from running into my room. Um, but yeah, it's like I love this bag so much. I also have my Prada bag right here next to me. And this is actually like such a great bag as well. I love it. Ooh. Mini earthquake. <laughs> not a real one like I don't talk to you guys um, but yeah I love that bag a lot but I feel like it's real like I love huge bags but that's like literally one of the largest totes ever um, and yeah I don't know I feel like I may put it up for sale if anyone's interested um, but I do like it and I have uh, I'm trying to use it and see how I like it um, but so far it's so good but I feel like it's just a little too large if there's such a thing as like a bag that's too big because I love huge bags but this is literally I think my largest bag other than like maybe my Celine Phantom but that one you can kind of close up but I don't know this one I kind of like the look of it more open I don't like buckling the sides and then it, it, when you do that it does get smaller but I don't I feel like I don't really like the silhouette for myself I don't know I'm just going crazy but today was such an amazing day we found such amazing handbags i am so excited to like do the haul video so don't forget to tune in tomorrow where i will do the haul video like in the vlog um for the stuff that i found today 
while we were out. And then don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated when I do post the thrifting videos and subsequent haul videos for the other thrift stores that I visited today because I got some amazing stuff. I got a Chloe, um, a Rebecca Minkoff, um, did I get Michael Kors? Don't remember. But I got some really great bags and I am really, really excited. I got some amazing deals on them too. Oh, Mark Jacobs, Mark by Mark, and Kate Spade. Yeah, so, <sighs> A lot, like, I'm so excited. Today was a really good thrift day, and I think it may actually be my last thrift, thrift day of the year. Um, the new year is next week, so I don't know if I'll have enough time to head out again um, to go thrifting. Um, I may squeeze in a couple trips to my local Goodwill that's um, not too far from my house, but... As um, some of you do know, I've talked about this a couple times, when I go thrifting, I do drive out pretty far um, to go thrifting because, like, the thrift store is kind of, like, around my area. Uh, I feel like I can find good stuff, but there's not that many in, like, um, like, the one I go to, like, I found really good stuff, actually. Like, I found Gucci, Marc Jacobs, um... Kate Spade, Coach, Michael Kors, and all that, uh, Burberry, but, um, it's, like, literally the only thrift store <laughs> that's in this area, and everywhere else, like, I have to drive out, so, when I go out thrifting, I like to be able, uh, I like the thrift stores to be in close proximity to each other, so I can just, like, thrift hop, kind of, like, yeah, so, um, that's why I drive out, because if I, like, started here, and then, like, you know, it's, like, really hard. Um, when I'm there, like, each of the thrift stores is, like, 15, 20 minutes away from each other, um, at the most. So, yeah, it really works out. <laughs> so I can fit in as much thrifting as I can in one day. Today, how many stores did I visit? I went to one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I went to seven different stores today, which is crazy. Did I go to seven? I, I feel like I did. One, and then two, three, and then four, five, oh, maybe six. I went to six stores today. So that's awesome. Like, I was able to fit in six stores, and I don't like coming home when it's already dark. So I leave, like, around, like, especially right now in winter, it gets dark at around 4.30. So, like, I was cutting it close, because it was actually, like, it got really dark once I got home. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> During the summer, I can stay out till like, 7, and it's, like, still sunny, and then it's, like, I'm totally fine. I don't know what that mentality is. I just don't like being out when it's dark. You know, I'm, like, a homebody. I like to be at home. I'm, like, let me just hang out at home or whatever. Um, <laughs> and, like, give me a movie and, like, some good food, and I'm, I'm happy as a clam. So, yeah. Um, but I think... I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. This Vlogmas has been... I know this is, like, probably... This is, like, my second Vlogmas, right? Second? Yeah, this is, like, my second one. My second Vlogmas... Um, it's all, like, the channel is coming on two years, and I'm so excited. We've come such a long way. Uh, a couple of you guys actually messaged me saying I'm almost to, like, we're almost at 10,000 10, subscribers, which is amazing. And I honestly never thought I would reach this crazy number, like, in, like, the grand scheme of, like, YouTubers and how many subscribers they have, like, the, like, people have hundreds, thousands, millions upon millions of subscribers, but honestly, I never thought I would even get, like, 10 subscribers. And, like, this time last year, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy, like, how is this even happening? And I'm so happy, like, I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the video, enjoying the content. And this coming 2018, I have so many things planned. I know I keep saying that, but this past year just has been so crazy. It's been so busy. It's been, like, non-stop. The house is finally almost, almost done. So I feel like this year, I can really focus a lot more on the channel and creating more content. And I have so many ideas that I'm super excited to do and so many things I have planned, so I, like, am just so excited. So, thank you guys again so much for hanging out and checking out the thrift today with me. I had so much fun, and hope you guys did too, and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps immensely, and let's try to get to 200. I don't think I've ever gotten to 200 likes, so, um, 
200. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Eliza. Wow. You did it. Yeah. He just wants to open the present. He wow. doesn't even care. Zach, can you find your name? How many times do you have to fight with that Wow, okay. What is that? Oh my god! Oh, Zach, that's bigger than you!